Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers, it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so this plan with me has been a long time in the making because I've been so, so about doing these lately because I've been working really early in the mornings and then coming home and basically just sleeping the whole afternoon and then waking up for two hours um, and then just passing out again. I've been too tired, even with coffee in the morning, to really do any filming. But now that I am closing the rest of this week, I'm going to try to do a lot more of it um, and hopefully get a little bit more caught up. So yeah, I'm finally on planning New Year's of last year. This is the last week in this current planner. So yeah, next week is going to be a little bit more exciting and scary while I try to figure out how to make the format of that planner similar to this one. It's gonna be a lot more white out, believe me, but I will do it. Um, so yes, now that I finally have time to sit down and do this, I actually have had all this stuff prepared to film for a long time, but um, so excuse me if I like don't remember what I was thinking when I like got something out to use, etc, etc. But let's go ahead and get into the kit. So the kit I chose is 2020 from Sticky Essentials. A lot of, well not even a lot of New Year's art comes out around New Year's each year. Well, there's always like a few kits to choose from, but I don't really like most of what I see most of the time. Um, but this one was like an obvious choice to me. Like, this is my color scheme, pink, black, white, and gold. Like, that's really all I want. Um, it's like one of my favorite color schemes of all time, basically. So, I, I liked the art, and I liked the arrangement of the full boxes, and I love Sticky Essentials kits. I don't remember what size kit this is. I usually try to get like the biggest kit but this almost this looks kind of like a mini kit so I'm not really sure if I plan that out well enough so I am gonna have to bring in a lot of extra boxes I did thankfully get the glitter sampler with the extra boxes on there um, but I am gonna have to pull in a lot more like little things and stuff and I also got the tall box fashion girl so I am gonna be using a tall box I don't know if I've I think I've done maybe like one or two tall boxes before not a lot um, and I haven't yet even tried to do like a tall box extender situation. That still kind of scares me. Like that's going to take a long time for me to figure out how I want to arrange that. So I'm not going to do it this time. I'm basically just going to throw this into the sidebar right up here and just pretend that that's my two full boxes for the sidebar because usually I'll try to fit two in there. Um, lately I haven't been though. You know, lately I've been doing like a like a happy mail checkbox down here. I am going to do a little bit of a happy mail checkbox, I'm gonna get, but I'm going to use one of these ones. I mean, you're obviously going to see that when I get into the actual planning. I'm just kind of thinking, trying to remind myself of what my plans were for the layout of the spread. I did bring in quite a few dig centers as usual. I seem to be using like seven at the minimum lately. Um, I think this is only six this week though, which is pretty low, but I do have like a lot of full boxes to work with, so that's kind of why. Last week was crazy, if you remember, um, I like, no, it wasn't that week, it was this week. I like used two day extenders on like a single day sometimes, and then other days I like used no full boxes, so that was crazy, but this week is going to be a little bit more standard, I think. Um, not, nothing crazy like either of those two things, so... Yeah, but it was a little bit of a busy week. I watched only four movies, which is pretty low for me, um, considering all the other Plan With Me's I've been doing lately have been like six or seven or eight movies. Um, but yeah, it was kind of a slow movie week for New Year's. I didn't really do anything for New Year's except work, you know, getting that holiday extra pay. So um, yeah, nothing really to celebrate. I don't even think I like had any plans in the first place um, to fall through like they did on Christmas, you know, you know from my last plan with me but um yeah it was just kind of a, a calm new year's which is just what I like um 
I do have some extra deco sheets to pull in. So we have the New Year's sheet from Once More With Love and the New Year's sheet from Fox and Cactus. I like her expression, that's so funny. And then leftovers from the Whimsical Cat Studio one that I used last year. So I still have this like 2019 girl. I might just have to get rid of her because I don't, obviously don't think I'll be able to use that one again. Um, but I might just throw in those extras like as deco because there is some deco in this kit, but like it's not a ton. So I have more options for that. Um, and then I am going to do a lot of foil. I'm going to do a bit of gold. I'm not using a wiggle again because I'm trying to like stay away from using a wiggle if I can because I have just so much extra stuff that I need to use up and I don't have really that many wiggles. So I have like one gold wiggle too. So I need to kind of conserve that. Um, one thing I love about Sticky Essentials is that with her bottom washi, she already includes the line here. Like that's printed on the paper so that when you cut it in half, it's so much easier to know where you're cutting. So I did already cut this washi in half. It's like obviously designed to be cut in half, which is perfect. And I'm going to, I was going to pull in Simply Gilda, but I was like, I don't feel like I have to because I actually didn't really even look. I don't really have to because I'm just going to use this one from... Scroll Prints Co. The shade of pink is not quite the same, but like in the grand scheme of the spread, you're not really going to be able to tell, but it is like already pre-gold foiled. Oh, this looks like a really coppery gold, but yeah, looking back on it, maybe this wasn't the smart decision, but I don't know. Um, I've already got it out. I'm just going to use it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I'm going to use that as the top of my bottom washi. And then I do have these overlays to put over the bottom part of it. Um, these are from Sadie Stickers. Happy New Year um, overlays from last year. I think I'm, I believe I'm just going to do the Happy New Year ones instead of the clock ones. So I have a lot more New Year foil to pull in. I'm not going to use like a ton, a ton, but I'm going to use a bit. Um, so I have some of these really fun Sadie Stickers overlays for headers. I may pull in some of these um, full box overlays from Sadie Stickers as well. And I might pull in a couple of these like Roman numeral, like countdown header overlays. I'm not gonna, I don't know why I brought both of these out because I'm not really gonna use both of these, I don't think. I'm gonna kind of do a lot of mixing and matching with the header overlays because I do have some extras that I wanna use up as well, like leftovers from, um, from who? From Scroll Prints Co. Like these here, I just need to get, kind of get rid of some of those. Um, and then I also have Sadie Stickers New Year's Deco. So that will probably also just throw up in the, like above the date covers, or just probably even throughout the spread. Might even do some in the full boxes. Some little deco pieces right here. I have I have so much foil because I forgot to look at the New Year's foil first before going into the normal foil. Um, I also have these that I kind of need to get rid of. These are dual foil um, full box overlays. So they are in gold and like pinky rose gold which would be perfect for this because this is pink and gold so I'm, I literally have to use those that's like a requirement must use those I might use those and those that'd be kind of fun huh doing a double overlay fight I don't even know is that even legal is that a legal sticker move doing like two full box overlays on one full box I feel like I've done a similar thing I've done foil like foil deco over an overlay but I don't think I've done two overlays so who knows that might be scary I also have these date dots, I'm pulling an illegal sticker move here again by mixing the types of gold foil because I just didn't have the 30 for this set, but this gold is perfect. It's like hot gold and I want to use this. So I pulled in the 30 from like the sparkly gold one, the sparkly gold sheet. So hoping it's not going to be too noticeable, noticeable, but it probably will. So I have, of course, my um, page flag overlays. I use the Scroll Prints Co. ones pretty much every single time. I actually just had to buy more because these are the last two that I had. Um, just some random dividers that I need to use up, so I may throw those in. I almost never have t a room to use dividers, but just in case, I always get them out. I also have these random glam planner and other types of full box overlays I don't even think I'm going to be able to use because I have so many other types, but we'll see. They're just in case. Um, I don't know why I brought these header overlays out like I'm literally not gonna have room to do this I also have tiny deco as well I love SPC tiny deco I just love tiny deco and I have bows here for some reason so I have a lot of like random shiz that I may or may not be able to use but just just the point is that I have it and I can use it if I need to um 
One more foil thing. I also just got this. You won't see this haul for a while, but I just got this $150 freebie from SBC and um, it was gold foil. So I knew it would go with any spread that had gold foil and this has gold foil. So probably going to try to pull in some of these boxes as well because I know I'm going to need them because this is like a mini kit, I think. So is it even a mini kit or am I just lying to myself about that? I don't know. Who knows? I always get the biggest kit like now when I shop so I'm not too worried about it now but I have a lot of old kits from her that might be the smaller size I don't know anyways so yeah I'm gonna have to pull in a lot of stuff so that is basically my plans for bougie it's gonna be a little crazy this week because y'all know about to run out on my sticky essentials bougie so funny I'm using bougie and a kit from the same shop um, but yeah, these are my favorite bougie boxes only because I haven't gotten the rose color days ones yet. Um, they're like out of stock right now. So I'm going to try those when she comes out with those. But like so far, like these are bomb. The sticky essentials ones. I really love these. She actually just had a pre-sale for, for her next batch of them. So I did order all of them again from her, you know, just in case. And they're apparently going to be double the roll size, which is great because I'm already like pretty much done with this one. I have like maybe two boxes left on here. So I have two boxes here. I have a, um, a bunch of just like random SPC ones to pull in. And then I actually bought a crap ton of SBC ones just in case. I never buy the sheets. I always like to buy the, the tapes because it's just better bang for my buck. But this was like an emergency situation. I don't, the pre-sale ones won't come in for a really long time. So I might be struggling for a while. But um, yeah, so it's going to be a crazy mix and match bougie week. But that is A-OK -okay because again, that's literally not anything that you're really going to be able to see. Um, but I, yeah, I'm so I'm kind of excited because like I've never used so much of this like really tiny confetti before. So like you may be able to see even more of the bougie behind the boxes this week. So that's kind of fun. Anyways, yeah. So that's my plan for New Year's. Even though this kit really has nothing to do with what I actually did, it's just like the prettiest New Year's kit. And y'all know I don't really make my holiday plans match my kits or vice versa. I guess I just use what's pretty. So yeah, without any further ado, because there has been a lot of ado so far, let's go ahead and get planning. I will put down the base out with music and then I will see you on the other side for the day by day. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into the day by day. I'm gonna have to go really fast because I sped it up super fast in order to make it a reasonable length. So on Monday, I had work as usual, and I'm marking that with a Shadow of the Cat sticker from Paper and Thread. I read more of the book series I was reading at the time, Love and Thumps. I think I was on book five by now, possibly, which is the last book. And that little girl reading is from Pots and Cactus. I sent an email to who I have no idea, but I'm using this new email script from Kinsey's Creations and an email emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I also got groceries that day. I don't remember where that perfectly colored pink grocery bag is from, but the grocery run script is from Scribble Prince Co. I played more of one of my favorite mobile games, um, Adventure Time Card Wars, kind of based off the show Adventure Time. Um, so I'm using this little, I think that's cinnamon the character from some little things playing cards to mark that it's also feeling pretty sick that day so i'm using another kinsey script and i think that little panda is from paper panda i also did the dishes so i'm using this happy day script that says wash dishes so it's kind of redundant that i used to do the dishes script from spc next to it but i thought it looked cute and it does fit perfectly and i had some tea because i was feeling sick obviously so marking tea time with a kinsey script and 
I honestly forget where that mug is from, but I'm pretty sure it's from a sampler from somewhere. I also got Happy Mail from Scroll Prints Co. So I'm using the little SPC icon from the Wiggle, or I guess from a leftover Wiggle, and a Happy Mail script from SPC as well. Those scripts are like almost too tiny, I think, to really use reasonably, but I'm just trying to use them up because I have them. I also filmed a part of a haul, so I'm using this perfectly sized film haul script from Letters to Apollo. I really need to suck up on those. I actually think I bought more in my latest order from her, um, because they're like already mixed and matched, so it's kind of nice to just have that option that fits perfectly in that space, and that little, like, film camera is an icon from, I think that's also from SPC possibly, but I could be wrong. I also organized my stickers. I really hate that I layered the script over the character sticker instead of under, and I think I tried to fix it, but it was just too late at that point, but next time, I'm not gonna make that mistake. So, that, um, that's a snowball the cat sticker from paper and thread as well to mark organizing i also applied two messages that's a station sticker script and that's a little foiled munchkin from my small club to mark that on the computer i also got uh, like surpassed 300 subscribers on youtube so if y'all are among that number that was one of my first 300 thank you so much but you know thank you anyway for being subbed now if you're a sub and um, that's a celebrating for Old Munchkin from Months More Club as well to mark that. So Tuesday was New Year's Eve, so I'm marking that with an SPC script and a bunch of random deco from Months More with Love and I think Fox and Cactus. I had work again, so there's a calculator from Whimsical Cat Studio to mark that, and I was really tired that day. So Tired AF is from Letters to Apollo, and that is a Munchkin from Months More with Love with those tired eyes to mark that. So naturally I had a nap, so there's a nap time script from Kinsey, and a napping munchkin also from Once More With Love. Um, yeah, you'll see me kind of arrange that in a minute. I was also feeling sick again that day, so there's a giant Letters to Apollo script for that. And a little sick kitty from, I think Paper Echoes is where that kitty is from, I love that kitty character. Anyway, she's got like a bowl of soup, so she's all set. I also had muffins, and that sticker is from... Paper Shire, I think there were muffins at work, which is usually when I marked that. Um, I was pretty impressed with how I managed to fit such a big sticker in that tiny space in like a little thing, especially since I had to like hide it so that when you flipped over the big extender it wouldn't show, but like I somehow managed to make it work, so I'm really, really proud about that. And I wrote muffins really small too. Um, I'm marking Card Wars again with a little phone icon from that same sampler sheet with the pink on pink no idea where that's from. So I also have Happy Mail, so that's a Kinsey script to mark Happy Mail, and where is that kitty from? I really do not at all remember where that kitty is from, so I think it was from a sampler. It must have been from a sampler, but it's the cutest kitty ever, so if you know, let me know. Um, that Happy Mail is from Fox and Cactus. I really rarely place orders with Fox and Cactus, because she so rarely comes out with like a whole bunch of new sticker sheets, but you know, once or twice a year, it'll add up to enough to justify an order because I think shipping is a lot too maybe or maybe just a long time anyway I uploaded a plan with me that day so there's another sticker from the same letters to Apollo script sheet and the upload sticker is I think from Marie Sweet Addictions that little iPad for drawing is probably Magic Prince Co probably um that draw script is from Kinsey so obviously I did some drawing not sure what I was drawing that day particularly but I was just drawing um, I also made myself a chocolate Russian, which is one of my favorite drinks. I like white Russians, but any variation of that really. So chocolate Russian, yellow Russian with eggnog, just anything, anything with vodka. And that drink sticker is from Hazel Sticker, which is, I think, the perfect color because it's like kind of brown. It's meant to be another kind of drink, but it's brown, so chocolate Russian, it works. Um, I also called my grandma and my parents that day, so I did like a kind of horrible, in my opinion, mix and match got to use the call grandma script for the first time I think and the and script for the first time as well but it didn't really fit great so I'm gonna have to rethink that but um and then the parent script as well so those are all from Kinsey the phone is I think from Samantha May Sticks quite possibly um yeah so then the movie I watched was Kung Fu Panda 2 I probably made a drink to watch that movie I thought it was really funny to use this like tired panda from Mexico Cat Studio, because, like, Poe, the panda, when he's learning Kung Fu, like, he gets his butt kicked a lot, so I thought that was, like, really perfect to use. 
So that was the sequel to the first movie. All three of those movies are really good. So Wednesday was actually New Year's, so there's a script from SPC, a celebrating girl from Fox and Pip, which I kind of layered under the work script, and then the 2020s from Once More Club, I'm pretty sure. Um, I had work that day as well. I was working on both these holidays, youch. So that is a, like, bookkeeping sticker from Once More Club to mark work. And I also read some more of the same book, so I got to use my giant reading script from The Letters to Apollo and a Wanton in a Million little steamy sticker reading. I don't use Wanton in a Million, like, as much as I would like, because I do have a lot of her stickers, but I just, for some reason, never reach for them, so I was really excited to get to use that. Um... And then I went to Starbucks and I got a Frappuccino, so I'm using a Frappuccino sticker from Papershire, and the Starbucks run script is from SPC. It's kind of a bigger script, but it does fit in a little thing if you position it right. It's kind of a stretch, but it works. Um, I'm using another SPC script to mark budgeting, and the icon is, again, I think from SPC, possibly, and yet another SPC script from that same sheet to mark paying a bill. Um, or just paying bills in general. So I'm using the Coffee Monsters Co. like pay bills checkbox there, which I didn't actually check. Oops. Oh well, it's a memory planner. It doesn't matter. And then I'm marking Card Wars the exact same way that I did on Monday. So I also had a bit of a cough that day. Instead of just being sick, I was sick with a cough. So I'm using this like kind of blowing nose sticker from Van City Stickers because I thought it, you know, it just looks like she's doing something to a tissue, so I just was, I was just pretending I was, like, coughing, so, yep, anyway, I also did an Instagram post for my plan with me, this, this mix and match I actually like, so, this is from Kinsey's, um, both the plan with me scripts and the Insta scripts I put together, and this wouldn't have worked if I had used the block letter Insta script, so I'm really glad I got this cursive as well, because then I could put them together, and it actually fits with that icon, which is, I think, also from Magic Prince Co., maybe, I have, like, two sets of foiled icons from two different shops, and I can never remember what the other one is. I only remember Magic Prince Co. Well, I also remember Smith May Sticks, but I have, like, four of those sheets. Anyway, here's a better mix and match with the call parents and grandma thing. So those are all Kinsey's. They're all cursive, because I think that was the only thing that would fit in that size box, but it looks a little bit better than the previous day. Um, For some reason, both my parents and my grandma like, all seem to call me on the same day, like, always. I don't know why two days in a row they did this, but they did. And that phone is from Papershire. I also edited a haul. It seems to be, like, a really big week of using letters to Apollo, like, filming and editing and uploading scripts, so that edit icon is also from the Rory Sweet Addictions sheet, I'm pretty sure. Um, Anastasia, my pet snake, ate her dinner that night like a good girl. I'm so sour because the day that I'm filming this voiceover, like, she didn't eat last night. She still might eat tonight, but, like, if not, like, then she's gonna go, like, three weeks without eating, which is not rare for her, but it's still very annoying. Anyway, so that little fork and knife is from SPC, and I also did a lot of social media posts, so I'm just using this, um, foiled, like, laptop icon. I have no idea where it's from, but it's from a sampler from somewhere. So going into Thursday, I had work again, so I'm using the pretty pink foiled work script from the Kinsey's sampler from the Pink Planner sale, and a giant girl from Whimsical Cat Studio to mark that. I actually had to cut that. I try not to cut my stickers, but this time it just, I had to do it. And it worked out. This box still looks pretty good, so I still managed to fit in everything. It was a busy day on the phones. Phones were ringing off the hook all day at work, so I'm using the appropriate sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio for that. Busy day script from Kinsey. Cardboard script also from Kinsey, and just a paper shower girl playing cards for that. I think it's a really good opportunity to use up all my playing card stickers, because I don't like playing cards, like, outside of this mobile game. <laughs> Except, like, Uno. I'll always make an exception for Uno. Um, I had a nap as well. There's a napping cat from Pots and Cactus. I baked brownies, so there's another bake script from the Pink Planner Sale Sampler. And a pretty pink paper shower girl baking for that. I also started re-watching Adventure Time, my favorite show, because I have only seen up to season six, and there's ten seasons, so I really need to watch all of them, so I started, like, re-binging that, and that script is from Kinsey, of course, and the TV icon, I'm not sure, but it's from a sampler. I did some more drawing, I actually started doing this thing where I draw, um, every single outfit that Princess Bubblegum, who is a character in Adventure Time, every outfit that she wears, I draw it on my iPad, 
So I've got like 35 so far or something like that, but it's a lot, but it's a really fun project for me because she has so many cool outfits. So that's what I was drawing that day. Draw a script from Kinsey's and that girl is from Paper Dolls Co. with the iPad. I got Happy Mail. So that's another Happy Mail script from the Pink Planner Sales Sampler and an envelope from Paper Shire. That Happy Mail is from Keytown that day. I filmed a haul part with that Happy Mail and that is a like camera, film camera from Rory's Food Addictions again, I think. And the film haul scripts are mixing and matching from Kinsey's. So I also listen to podcasts. So that's a podcast, Munchkin from Once More With Love, and a podcast script from Kinsey's. I designed some sheets that day, design script is from SPC, and the Munchkin is from Once More With Love, and I watched Kung Fu Pandas 3, so there's another Women's School Cat Studio Panda sticker to mark that. Friday I had laundry, that's a Rose Color Days laundry script, and I think the icon too is from that same sheet. I changed my bed sheets, so there's a little sticker from Happy Dea, and I also played card wars again, so there's a little Munchkin on the phone from, not Munchkin, Emoti on the phone from the Coffee Monsters Co. I called just my grandma that day. I don't know why she called me three times that week, but she did. So, call grandma script from Kinsey, and that's a little character of Lil from Some Little Things on the phone to mark that. Let's see, I also filmed another haul part that day, and there's another Letters to, letters to Apollo script for that, and the film clapper, probably again from Magic Prince Co. or somebody, I don't know. I used the same design script from SPC to mark more designing sticker sheets. Um, I think it was the fruit sheets that I was designing that I still have not released, but oopsie. Anyway, I honestly don't remember where that little bunny character is from. I know it's from a sampler from a shop that I don't think I've purchased from, unless it's Paper Echoes. Maybe it's the bunny character from that shop that I just haven't bought. I don't know. I like buying the cat character or the girl. So there's more Happy Meal. That's a Paper Shire sticker to mark that. And that was from Stiggy Essentials that day. I also bought a lot of things, don't remember what, from what shop, but I used the buy all the stickers script from that pink planner sales sampler from Kinsey and the girl from Happy Day buying stuff on the computer. Um, I also organized stickers, so I cut the organized stickers script that I was so proud of in half to make it fit on this tiny little space in the little thing. And then that's the Once More Club Munchkin organizing. I had a brownie, one of the ones that I had made the previous day. I made it just from a box, like, I'm not really a baker. Um, but that brownie sticker is from Happy Dea. And then I washed the fan fantastic Mr. Fox. And that's a cute little fox sticker from, I think, Bujo Guru. Like, you probably have heard of Sticker Guru, but she has, like, a little offset of her shop called Bujo Guru. And there's a lot of cute little animal characters in there. So that's the fox from that. Um, Saturday I had to work again. There's another Once More Thug Munchkin. I was sick, feeling sick again. This was a rough week for me, I guess. So there's a paper and thread cat. Sick script from Letters to Apollo. I had tea again. So that icon is from SPC script from Kinsey. Kinsey script to mark ordering Amazon. And then a, a sticker from Some Little Things to mark ordering Amazon. I don't know what I ordered, but who knows? Sometimes I mark what I, when it arrives, what it is, but sometimes I don't if it's like something boring. Anyway, I watched more Adventure Time, so there's the same Kinsey script as before, and the TV icon. Again, it could be Magic Prince Coat, it could be that other shop that I just don't know, but who knows? Eventually I'll look it up and actually remember it. Played Card Wars again, so there's a phone that is from a different sampler with a colored background, so who knows? but it matches the color scheme pretty well. Um, I drew more, so I guess I drew another Princess Bubblegum outfit, and I think that iPad may be from Little's Planner. I'm not entirely sure. I really like it, but I'm not entirely sure who it's from. I think it's Little's Planner, though. And then I binged YouTube, so there's a YouTube script and icon both from SPC. So on Sunday I worked again, yet again. I was working like almost every day this week, goodness gracious. So that is a, another sticker from Paper and Thread to mark that. I had a nap, so that is a Grin and Bear at Bear, sleeping for that. Um, card Wars again, this time using a Scribbler from SPC, now discontinued, um, playing cards. And I read more, I really like how I marked that with the flag, the icon from, again, Magic Prince Co. question mark. And then the read script from Kinsey's. Um, 
let's see, what I already marked at the bottom, which I decided to do first, I don't know why, was another chocolate Russian, marked the same way as before, with the Hazel sticker, and then I watched Shawshank Redemption, that's in the movie marquee, and a little prison girl from the Pumpkin Paper Co. like Halloween costume sheet was perfect for that, so I'm really proud of that too. Um, the middle box, I'm marking groceries with a paper shire vanilla character and a grocery script from Station Stickers. I watched Phineas and Ferb, Icon from SPC, script from Kinsey's, and I had some mild anaphylaxis that day as part of my asthma slash allergies, so my throat was closing up a little bit. It was pretty scary. So I'm using an asthma sticker from Fan City Stickers, and that brings us to the end of that. Oh man, I had to talk so fast for that, but I think I did it, so... Here we are. I really love the way this turned out. This was like the perfect spread to finish up this planner and finish out the year with a bang. Gorgeous kit. Gorgeous foiling. The colors are perfect. I actually managed to stay on color scheme this time, which looks amazing. So this is like one of my favorite spreads for sure. Bottom washi overlays are fantastic. Deco everywhere. I think I did a pretty good job. First time using a tall box. Pretty successful. I don't know if it was my first time, maybe my second time using a tall box, but I rarely use them, but it turned out real good, so super duper psyched about that, really loving this, um, so yeah, there was a lot of experimentation in this planner while I tried to figure out my ideal style, and I already have some ideas on how to experiment going into the next planner, and how to constantly improve the style and make it even better, so can't wait to see what the next eight months of spreads that I have to catch up on will bring. So we will see about that. But thank you so much for staying with me in my journey through finishing up this planner. And we will see what the next planner brings. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be fantastic. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.